We've all seen a rocket lift off. The question is, how does it work? Today, Professor Taylor explains. We can use this cart to demonstrate rocket propulsion. I'm going to throw a sack of lead away from me like this. To do that, I have to push on the sack. So by Newton's third law, the sack will push on me, and away we go. Oh. Throwing one sack didn't get me moving very fast. But if I throw two sacks, then I should move quite a bit faster. Let's give it a try. Well. Okay, and it seems to me that if you wanted to pick up any speed at all, you'd have to have a lot of those little sacks. That's right, and with enough sacks, I could go just about as fast as I like, and that's exactly what a rocket does. The rocket pushes burning fuel out continuously. Just imagine throwing millions of bags of shot. By Newton's third law, the fuel being pushed out also pushes back on the rocket, and that's the force that propels the rocket forwards. We can illustrate rocket propulsion with this fire hose. As the fire hose throws the water out this way, it has to push on the water this way. So by Newton's third law, the water pushes on the hose this way. And I'm holding the hose, so the hose and I will move off in this direction. With some help from his friends at the fire station, Professor Taylor makes a water rocket. It's another example of Newton's third law. 